This is the free motion quilting tutorial for patchwork farmland. This design is stitched in a really interesting way. It's kind of like a checkerboard, but you're going to stitch it very freeform and flowing. So the first step is just to stitch some back and forth lines. I'm going to stitch kind of a curvy line and then echo that curvy line for really as long as I feel like it. It's one of those designs that you can really kind of take and do whatever you want to with. It doesn't have to be something perfect and it's meant to look very organic and free-flowing. So I'm just stitching these back and forth lines and you can see how I kind of curve them up and I'm softening that edge. And the reason I'm doing that is it's going to allow me to kind of match these together with more curving lines uh, in the next row. So the next step is to simply stitch the opposite direction. So I was stitching kind of horizontally in one direction, now I'm stitching vertically. And again, I'm kind of softly curving to match up the lines and softly curving back. Echo stitching, it's very, very simple design. It doesn't take a lot to think about and it's one of those types of things that if you're just kind of wanting a filler that's going to fill your quilt with something soft and simple, not a lot of travel stitching, then this is a good fit. It is worked from the edge of your quilting space to the other. So you can see I'm just kind of working my way down one side and I'm going to slowly work my way all the way across the quilting space in this manner. Now, of course, whenever I get bored stitching those uh, vertical lines, I'm going to go back to stitching horizontal lines. This is a, f a patchwork farmland, and I wanted it to have that look of kind of uh, woven lines, of interlocking lines. I've wanted to try and achieve that effect of a soft um, farmland kind of landscape look, and it'll be interesting to see this stitched in a landscape quilt. You can see I'm kind of fitting in this last section of wiggly lines over here. You might have to do um, just a little bit of wiggling and you might have to cut some lines down a little shorter in order for it to fit properly. This is a very freeform, very flowing kind of design. So please feel free to stitch it however you kind of feel like it that day. So stitch your vertical lines as long as you feel like it and your horizontal lines as long as you feel like it. And in the end it will come together in a very, very beautiful design. And here's what it looks like whenever you finish Patchwork Farmland. For over 250 videos on free motion quilting plus loads of tools and supplies for this awesome hobby, check out daystyledesigns.com.